Well, tomorrow is Christmas Eve, and in many parts of the world, uh, that heralds one of the most important holidays of the year, the 25th of December, Christmas Day. Now, in cultures based on European values, this means decorating the home, a family gathering, uh, preparing traditional meals, presents for family and friends, and uh, for Christians, perhaps a religious service. But Christmas has also become a huge commercial deal around the world, of course, and this aspect of it is one that Chinese businesses have certainly latched onto with relish. Now, despite having its roots in a totally foreign culture, certain elements of Christmas, decorations, exchanging gifts, have become increasingly popular in China in very recent years, especially amongst the younger generation. And it's even developed its own sort of uniquely Chinese twist. Uh, for many young people in China, it's somehow become associated with romance uh, and a, an occasion to express love, something like uh, Valentine's Day. So with shopping malls offering pre-Christmas deals and extravagantly decorated Christmas trees and Santa Clauses popping up all over the city, what does Christmas really mean to everyday Chinese people? And do they have any plans to celebrate it? Well, our reporter Esther Dong went out on the streets of Beijing to ask just that. What's your plan for the coming Christmas Day? I will probably go to the cinema. I'll probably get together with my friends, but I prefer to celebrate it with my girlfriend. I'm planning to go shopping with her and have a candlelight dinner. Oh, Christmas! You mean the foreign festival, right? I know about it because my daughter works for an international hotel and the hotel celebrates this day for its entire foreign staff every year. But I don't really know what they do on that day. After all, I'm too old for this holiday. I have no plan for Christmas. I'm just a migrant worker. What kind of plan can people like us have for Christmas? The only thing we can do is to give a call to our family members from time to time and console them by saying we are fine. I seldom celebrate Christmas Day because I'm getting older, and it's actually a holiday for young people. But I did celebrate it last year when I was in France. We walked on the Champs Elysees Avenue and enjoyed the night scenes and went shopping. How do you feel about the fact that more and more Chinese young people are celebrating Christmas? Well, in big cities like Beijing, I feel young people's daily lives aren't that colorful, and they're always busy. So it's understandable they want to get together with their friends on that day. It's just a time for them to have fun, after all. <laughs> well, the standard of living nowadays is improving, and more and more people are becoming interested in Western culture. And young people always like having fun. But for old people at my age, we've no interest in Christmas Day. For me, our spring festival is more interesting. I don't like Christmas at all. And I can't understand why so many Chinese are celebrating this foreign festival. I feel some people worship foreign things too much. Well, I think it's the result of more and more interaction between Chinese culture and Western culture. Nowadays, people have a better understanding of foreign festivals. But I still think for the majority of Chinese people, our traditional festivals, especially the Spring Festival, mean much more than any foreign festival.